So, I got to thinking, how do kids feel? Kids that get bullied. I've seen kids getting bullied, but I've never had the guts to step up to them and help them. I've seen kids bullying others, but I've never had the guts to step up to them and tell them to stop. So I promised myself, tomorrow when I go to school, if I see something wrong, I'll do it. And when you, when you get a thought like that, you think you would just go out there and you actually do it. You, I couldn't. I just couldn't. And I felt like a failure, you know? I felt like I was failing myself. I felt like I was failing those kids that were, you know, that were risk, like risking their lives. Bullying leads to suicide. Bullying leads to self-hatred. So I talked to my counselor and um, she was a very sweet lady. She was my cheerleading coach as well. Um, you know, the answer I expected from her when I told her what was going on was, you know what, I'll step up and I'll help. I'll support you. That wasn't the answer I got. The answer I got was, if those kids wanted help, they will step up for themselves. If those kids wanted help, they would step up for themselves. So that kind of made me think, how did I react when I was in their shoes? What did I do? Did I step up for myself? Did I tell those kids to stop bullying me? And no, I did not. It wasn't because I wanted the bullying to keep going on. It wasn't because I enjoyed it. It was just because I knew if I had told them to stop, it would have kept going on. It would have made it worse. So I made a pledge, I said, for myself. I said, from now on, I will step up. I will stand up for what I believe in. I started with small things, really small things like doing what I wanted. Not anything illegal, not anything bad, but small things like picking out my own shoes, you know? My mom tells me I don't like it. I'm like, mom, I like it. I'll wear it today. It's fine. She'll get upset, but it's fine. She'll get over herself. It was those things that made, impact, that made a big impact in those kids, you know? So one day I actually did have the strength to step up to a bully and tell him, what are you doing? What's, why do you enjoy this so much? Because they were laughing about it. But that girl that they were bullying, she was crying. Maybe not in school, maybe not in class, but at home, she was crying. But at home, she was suffering. So you know what I, the answer I got was when I talked to the bully? He said, that's the only way I can stay cool in school. And no, it's not. No, it's not. One of the speakers made a good point. We have big potentials in us, and it's all up here. It's not our physical appearance. It's not what we say. It's not what we do. It's what we have up here. If we can use this, or if we can get others to use what they have inside, it will make the biggest impact in this world. It will stop the war in Sudan. It will stop bullying. It will stop so many problems, so many small problems that we're facing today. One of the themes are turning stumbling blocks into stepping stones. For me, stepping up to that person and talking to them and really understanding why they were doing that thing was a stepping stone. So I just, I just wanna ask you guys, whatever you feel is wrong, don't just sit back and wait for somebody to do it. Step up, be the hero. Don't be the hero for the show, but be a hero to save somebody's life. Thank you. Thank you.